So I'm casting this propeller bait super far away, ripping it across the surface, and then you see this wake just going after it, just zigzagging it, trying to hit it, missing it a few times, and then finally when it gets to it, it's explosive, literally just a big splash. And that right there is what keeps me coming back. South Florida is the only place in the continental United States that has the peacock bass. The canals down here have allowed these fish to survive throughout the cold climate. Peacock bass are known worldwide for being one of the most prized freshwater game fish because of the beautiful colors and their aggressive strikes. Although we grew up in different countries, myself and Rob both fished for peacock as a child, and that molded us into the fishermen we are today. We set out into a local residential canal system that we actually haven't fished for before. So we didn't know what to expect, but as soon as we launched our kayaks, we noticed small peacocks right by the launch site, and that gave us the confidence we needed that we knew this was going to be the spot. So I like to start today with topwater lures, uh, specifically propeller lures. This will guarantee some strikes throughout the morning and the way I like to do it is by basically just casting along the bank and covering as much area as possible, making long casts, that way I cover the most amount of water possible. Oh my god, dude! Oh! It literally came out of the water just to get it. Nice. Nice fish, nice fish. So, let's hope they keep getting bigger. Right off the bat, Robo got in on the top water bite. Left and right, he was catching them. You want to make sure you cast multiple times in the same area. These fish uh, sometimes are just cruising around and just by hearing some commotion, they get, they get very curious and that's when you can entice a strike. And in my opinion, this is the best way to target peacocks because sometimes you can see them waking behind the lure, maybe miss it a couple times until they finally destroyed it. And the explosion is incredible for the size of this fish. So we came up to this dock and I spotted this tank of a peacock bass. One thing that gives away these fish are their orange pelvic fins. They really stand out in these waters. I positioned myself, made a few casts, trying not to overshoot to get stuck on this dock. And then finally, bam, I hook up onto this nice peacock. I was so stoked, and as soon as that adrenaline was peaking, that lure came unbuttoned, and I lost the fish. I was really bummed. But you know what they say, you can't win them all. So you gotta carry on and hope for the best. I'm gonna show you my basic story kit when it comes to peacock bass fishing. I like to mainly use hard plastics, but there's other types of lures like spinner baits and soft plastics that you might wanna take into consideration. First of all, peacock bass are cichlids, so they are very aggressive, very territorial, and we wanna use that into our advantage. My number one lure to use is actually 
the propeller bait. Propeller bait, any type, any brand. I usually like to use the Yosuri ones because they're very durable and their action is excellent. But these lures create a lot of commotion in the surface, a lot of noise, and peacock bass are usually very curious when it comes to uh, their surroundings. You know, they're protecting their nest, they're protecting their territory, so they're gonna take a look at it if they hear it or if they see it. And this is a very effective lure, especially early in the morning. My other choice uh, that's always tied on while I'm fishing is a spinnerbait. Spinner baits are great because they are similar looking to many bait fish and you can get different colors. You can get Mayan cichlids, you can get tilapia colors, or even bluegills. And Pico Bass will not hesitate on attacking one of these. I highly recommend you use a trailer hook in spinner baits. It definitely improves your chances of catching a peacock bass. My third lure will be an x uh, usually about this size, maybe a little smaller. And depending on what type of depth I'm fishing, I will use something suspending or something that sinks. That way I can cover more areas of the water column. But anything that's similar looking to an any bait fish will work for peacock bass. Lastly, some of the other lures that I like to use for peacock bass are just a simple jig head with a soft plastic swim bait or a simple bucktail with white hair or yellow hair. Seems to be very effective for peacocks when fishing bridges, drop-offs, or structure. Some of the lures that might not work for peacock bass will be worms and frogs. This canal system was pretty extensive. I mean, we, we had a lot of water to cover. So whenever canals get narrow, uh, it's good to stay in the center and just fan cast to the sides. And that allows you to actually cover a lot of water. I mean, these fish don't really have a lot of space to go to. So they're definitely there in the water, somewhere in the water column. It's just a matter of finding them. Thank you. 